Hello everybody and welcome to Russell Puff again. We are on our Hogwarts Legacy Let's Play here for the first time and we are from just now collecting our Dittany leaves. And it looks like it's going to go back through it again. Well, we're not going to sit here and wait another 10 minutes. We're going to go ahead and look at the upcoming quests that we have. Let's take a look at what we have going on today. Potions class. We can go to potions class and then we can do these, ooh, Expelliarmus. We can do some of these other uh, side quests that are going on, but I do want to go to potions class today. I want to check that out. So let's see how we can find potions. I've always said that travel broadens... Well, I'm not traveling with you because traveling does not broaden my mind if I can just snap my fingers and click my heels twice and I end up in the spot. That doesn't broaden the mind. I have to walk this place. Sorry, I'm just a little put off by the fast travel in this game. And don't get me wrong. And like 10 playthroughs later, it's going to be very handy to have. But for this first one, I just wish I could disable it. At least in Hogwarts. I think I'll probably start using it. Uh, later on. Where am I going? I need to go out these doors over here because I'm pretty sure I gotta go specifically this way. Although, based on where things are looking, it might be underneath me. Yeah, it's, it's on this side. I think it'd be where the Slytherin common room is. Well, let's, uh, let's go out this door. Uh, I don't think this is going to... Wait, 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 wait. That one area that I haven't been to yet? That's... All the way over there? I think that might be where I need to go. Let's go take a look. Maybe not. I'm, I'm, I'm probably just... I haven't been there yet either. So what's down here? <laughs> These uh armor guys, they don't seem to like each other too much. Like they aggravate each other. Revelio. You look important. But you're not. Ooh. Is this the bell tower courtyard? We're in the, we're at the bell tower, aren't we? That's cool. Still can't go in there though for whatever reason. Cool. Rebellion. Three Sisters Bells. Said to be tribute to three Samori named beautiful steep ridges that rise majestically over a glen in Arkleshire. It is rumored that one can hear them ring in the glen way across the highlands when they are rung in the castle. Locals have been baffled by a mysterious ringing for years. Oh, the poor muggles. Hey, Fat Friar. The food that appears in the Great Hall isn't conjured. The house elves make it. I was worried, Transfiguration. Revelio. Goblin artifact, 1812. Goblin Rebellion. Hey, come back here. Where are you going? I've got 16 of you to look for. Where'd you go? Aha, here we go. Aha, gotcha. There we go. I'll take that. I'll just bring them back whenever. Ooh. What classroom is this? Is this Muggle Studies?
I think this is. I don't know. There's a lot of musical stuff. Maybe this is the what the frog choir. Oh. It is the frog choir classroom. Music class. Rebellion. Here perch the slimy yet symphonic, symphonic frogs that comprise the Hogwarts Frog Choir. These magical amphibians can sing in six part harmony and hold a pitch better than most humans. It's a fun fact about the Frog Choir. It actually is not book canon. It is one of the few things that the movies gave us that is actually really, really special and is really considered canon, I would say, across everything. Uh, yeah, Professor Flitwick, who ran it, uh, was actually, I don't remember if he was supposed to have been Flitwick in that film. I think he was just casted as Frog Choir uh, instructor. But because it was the same actor, Warwick Davis, they just kind of went with that look for Flitwick moving forward. So, a little tidbit fact for you. Oh, okay, we gotta deal with you now. Alright, let me just go hide right here. Get disillusionment out. <laughs> 500 galleons in these things, man. That's insane. Got a winter hat. Where am I going? Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Shoo, that scared me a little bit. Where am I? Oh, I just took a full circle. <laughs> okay, still not taking me to where I need to go, which is the dungeons. There was a rumor that if you knocked on the barrels in the middle of a Christmas carol, you'd get a present. <laughs> okay, these guys are getting violent. There's that one in the Great Hall, that pair over there, too, that's been pretty crazy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. My gear slots are full. What? We got gear slots? We got. We got limits on what we can carry in the wizarding world? No. Ooh, the Celtic cape. How do we have a limit on what we can carry in the wizarding world? Come on. Is it better? It is. Wait, it's better than that? But you can't put traits on it, so. But the offense is better, so I'll take that. And of course, like, let me look at it. Oh, that looks pretty cool, actually. But yep, continuing on with the usual look. How is it that I find these things and no one else does? Oh, it's nighttime. Okay, I'm still lost on where to go. Maybe this way. Yep. Aha! I was kind of in the right direction. Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. Heh. <laughs> Oh, hang on. Sorry, Professor. Got another key to catch. We are never going to make it to potions class, guys. Ha ha! Give me that. Was that three we've gotten complete now? Thirteen to go. 
All right. Are we going to stay on the floor again? Yep. <laughs> we have spent the entire night in potions. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. I like him. He still got this. He still got that seriousness about him. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Hey, his... Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Oh, wrong way. Just about messed it up. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. <laughs> hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. I like this guy. He's not... He's got the same... Fortitude? I'm not sure what the word is. He's got, he's got the same kind of attitude as Snape, except for he's not, like, being a bully. So, if Snape wasn't a bully, I feel like that's what Sharp is. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld Potion can treat... My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. I wasn't talking to you, man. How are we doing, Natty? Sebastian? All right. Hello. Fine job brewing your first Wiccan Weld potion. But there are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. Hello. Poppy, where have we not spoken yet? You're in my house. My Wiccan Weld potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from J. Pippins. Live and learn, live and learn. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. My phone is blowing up. I gotta turn it upside down. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wicked Meld potion. It's not oh, that difficult. You're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. A pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well done. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. 
A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation, is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Ah. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. I like him. He's cool. He likes astronomy. I can get along with anyone who likes astronomy. Uh, so we need to grab something, which I definitely can't see what the meaning map is. Efficiency okay. and potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. I'm scared to ask you a question because you remind me so much of no Snape. Professor, what should I be doing again? You should have collected the ingredients from my office and begun brewing a potion at your cauldron. Finish your potion and then return to me. Oh, I just get so much anxiety when that question has to be asked. Oh my gosh, that just brings back so many bad memories of me having to do that to actual, actual professors. I found a galleon. I'm stealing from the professor now. You look you're up in no good. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office. Another Weasley. Why do you want to know? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Oh no, if anything that I remember from Snape as a potions master, you don't take things from the ingredient storeroom because they keep log of that stuff. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, bro. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. I don't know, guys, because, like, I've already read about him in the diary, and he seems like a bit of, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not liking him already, so, bad impressions. Floopers are pretty valuable, I would think, because, no, those are Augries, right? Augries are the ones that kill you if you get close to them. If they aren't that valuable, why can't you get one from, uh... Uh... In real life, mm, I don't think I'd do this. I've enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. Yeah, sorry, bro. You you just gonna have to do your own thing. I don't really like him. I know he's a Weasley, but that doesn't Remember, mean much. Precision is key when brewing potions. Now we're snooping. <laughs> Borgen and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more orders to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instruction of... Oh, he's being watched from the aura office. Because I guess he gets potion greetings from there. Oh, there's... No, I'm... Do you see this? This thing sticks out like a sore thumb. There is no way I am taking that. No, that's bad news. Dang it. 
Let me, let me sort Vistat right quick. A well-prepared witch or wizard always has a few potions on hand. Should you chop the Dittany or crush it, the wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Ha <laughs> ha! That's a that's a Howard Prince reference. Okay, so what are we making? Endurance potion. Take a couple of seconds. And now we add the mallow sweet and. That's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it. Oh. Oh. Dragon Dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. That's why you don't get involved. <laughs> I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. She's watching. You've done well today. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I impressed Professor Sharp. I'm happy with that. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Awesome. How long does the Wigan Will Potion take? I don't have a Wart Lump Juice. Darn it. Level up. That was an interesting class. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. Well, for certain, you'd have helped. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't get involved. I'm glad I avoided trouble. Sharp certainly seemed upset with you. His bark's worse than his bite. I think deep down he respects my artistic spirit. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. All right, then. Anyone else to chit chat with before I walk out of here? I really love the design on here. They did such a good job. The, the classroom is amazing. Oh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of term. I'm convinced I'm the only one in my dormitory who doesn't snore. I shall need a sleeping draft to get a good night's sleep if it keeps up. <laughs> a girl in our dormitory keeps getting packages of homemade pasties from her family. We shan't fit into our robes for next term at this rate. She put a bow trap up under my bed, and I know it was her. She's looking for trouble, that one. Looking for it. Well, I was looking for one. Don't mean it's foul little tongue up my nose, it was. <laughs> All right, so we got done with potions. Let's see what else we got to do now. We're not going to do the main quest that we have right now, though. There are some side ones that I like to tackle first. We'll leave this one with Natty for later. Hey, she's in a different outfit right here. Oh, she's in a different outfit there. It's pretty cool. Uh, Professor Hickett has an assignment. Successfully avoid enemy attacks by... By dodge rolling, I want to cast and send you on a few enemies. My field guide would not guide me through this assignment, but my map could prove useful. 
The daily and keys cross ones round three. I think we can go do these and those might count for that. We can also do that one too. So let's head on over to the courtyard. Clock tower courtyard. Oh, we got another side quest here. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small uh, project. What's up, Duncan Hobhouse? You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. I mean, you know, I've had some good luck. I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a, a puff scheme. Uh... <laughs> I am curious why you're afraid of these, because they're actually quite cute. They're adorable. <laughs> why would you be afraid of a puff scheme? They seem adorable until one sticks its tongue up your nose. Regardless <laughs> of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. Eh, that's not really funny. I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway... To make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. If the thing that you're most afraid of is a puff skin, why, uh. Well, that should mean that you don't fear anything else above it, which means you should be able to tackle that, right? I don't know. What should I expect? What sort of plants should I expect in the Hidden Herbology Corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Um, all right. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. All right. I want to tackle this side quest. Since we're on it now. Whoa, what is up with the robes? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, these guys again. I saw nothing. We we we're just gonna walk away from that. That we saw nothing. <laughs> oh, I love this game. We are going outside. Is that Rebellion. something? That's a broomstick. A broken broom belonged to Celine Wart Navi and is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. Oh. 
she uh disapparated to the moon yikes not a good idea if you don't have a space suit or maybe a bubble head charm Oh, the outside world. It's been a little while. What are you doing? Ah. <laughs> is that Leander? It is Leander. What's up, buddy? Dude, this looks so cool out here. Revelio. Was it Noah Hogfield? Well, both Hogfields. Uh, where was I going? This way. Or. Alright. When do I get a broom? I'm ready to start flying. Oh no, come on, hop up off you can do better than that. Oh, hello. Do you bite? Nope, that's pretty cool. Man, this is so beautiful, man. Just, oh my goodness. Oh, okay, there's stairs right here. They did such a good job with this thing. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Oh, well, why don't we give it a little burn? Cool. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. All right. Hidden herbology corridor. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. All right then. I was just getting ready to pull my Lumos back out. Lumos. Don't you dare grab me. Yep, it closed back up. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of it. I'm gonna look at this first. Incendio! Lumos. Ooh, fingerless gloves. This is so creepy. Incendium. Lumos. Hmm. 
<laughs> Lumos. Lumos. Seems the Devil's Snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Incendio. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. Incendio. I'm just deadly terrified Lumos. of getting hit by these guys. Ooh, get out of that, get out of that, get out of that, get out of that. Incendio. Lumos. Darn it. My gear slots and it goes to hog's meat or something. A silver scarf. Incendio. Lumos. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. I'll make them go over here. Incendio. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. How did the herbology place get like this? This is insane. Incendio. Lumos. What's this? Must be a way out. Why didn't they attack us? Interesting. All right, cool. I wonder where we're coming out from. That was pretty creepy. I, uh, I would have panicked. <laughs> Probably not. I mean, as long as I know how to cast Lumos, I would have been all right. I just find it so interesting how our character just gets into this world like he does. Like, why? I still need to know why. And he seems like he knows more about it than most. We came through that door. Lumos. Have you found anything to uh, prove my bravery yet? Hey, Duncan. Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. <laughs> Actually, I might just keep this. <laughs> and I can prove everyone that I went down there, because I did. Yeah, whatever. Happy to help. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff Scheme Dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more Puff Scheme Dunking for me. Excellent. Okay, what were we doing before that? I forgot. Oh, uh, we were going to do cross ones round three with the second practice. We'll do those and we'll probably end the video on that. Since this shouldn't be that difficult to do. Wait. Where'd it go? Rebellion. There it is. Take me to your token. What are you up to now? None of your business. Gotta do daily and key to get. 
Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Ah. I jumped the gun. There we go. I got a few of these now. Ooh, what's that? Oh. Oh, that's a troll move. All right. Future champion coming through. Nelly. Could you remind me how the Dedalian keys work? Oh, that's not what we're When at. you spot or hear a flying key, you're to follow it back to its cabinet. Inserting it in the lock is the tricky part. I hope you follow some. If you open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. Well, um, I have found stuff. Let's do a training dummy practice. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be it. brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Excellent form. I was kind of picking up on that beforehand. That little combination. Excellent. That's it. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Oh, if you go too fast, you won't be able to hit them all. Nicely done. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. I mean, it really was just a dummy. <laughs> it was only a training dummy. True, but it's a difficult dummy. Believe me, I know. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed ones. Other duelists had better beware. Yeah, because it's not going to go like that in the actual thing. I promise you that. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of crossed ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? Who are we facing? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, we're going to go with Sebastian again. Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. Not, I think I did Natty last time. So we'll do, I think, yeah, I think I did do Natty last time. We can make this a real victory. Oh, Leander. That's the spirit. Oh, and Nelly. I see Nelly back there. Oh, this is about to get really challenging. Find the one. Incendio. Oh my god. Oh no, I fell. No, I healed. Oh, they made a crap's breakfast out of you that round. Care to try again? Yeah. I somehow know I got more Wigan build at the end. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Okay, the, the goal is to not Oh 
Oh my god. Good God. Akio. Incendio. There goes my wager. Man, this is... Levioso. Incendio. Confringo. Protego. Alright, one of them down. Oh crap. There we go. With a little bit of help. Man. What a victory! That was tough. You've won the tournament. Oh, I'm just getting started. That was nothing. I'm just getting started. If the best duelists in the school weren't enough competition, then perhaps you should consider transferring to Durmstrang. Now, to the victor <laughs> goes. I had to brag a little bit there. I shouldn't. And so but... it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment thank you thank you very much Logan thank you it's been an honor you earned it you are a duelist to be reckoned with now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork wonder how my herbology plants are doing I haven't tended them in ages <laughs> all right Great job, Sebastian. I don't remember you doing a whole lot because I was so en enamored with my own situation. Lost to a new student? Hmm. I didn't see that coming. What did the other guys got to say? Shame it's over. I was just getting started. That's what I had to say. Could you remind oh, me how no. to daily... When we you spot... We, we, we know this. We know this. Where's the other student that I spot? The best duelist won, I suppose. Hey, Leander. You can't be beat, can you? Nope, nope. What happened in the other match? You know, that was a different timeline. That didn't happen here. Uh, let's look at the... Let's look at what I won. It was that. Cross one's champion garb. Eh. It's cool, but eh. But guys, that is going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you are enjoying this as much as I am. I love, love this game so much. It's a lot of fun. Uh, nothing really too bad. There's a few things I have nitpick here and there. But overall, this is an awesome game, guys. I'm really enjoying it. We're going to have to take a trip to Hogsmeade in the next episode and get rid of some stuff and uh, see how things go from there. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Russell Puff, and I'll see you in the next video, Mischief Managed.